Hello, this is Heather Hoffman, and today I have a fun interactive, kind of a lifting up a window card to share with you. Here's a little peek at what it looks like. I'm using the brand new February 2020 Kit of the Month, and already stamped that fun uh, Volkswagen van bus two times, both on uh, green cardstock, and I fussy cut out the first one all the way around, and you might notice the sentiments hiding on there as well. And I'm going to cut out the top of the second one and just manually add in a couple of tabs at the top. It's really nothing fancy. I'm just um, kind of leaving them kind of to both edges for some stability and just some simple little tabs. They almost look like uh, little paper doll tabs to me. I don't know if you ever played with those when you were a kid. And I folded those in. Afterwards, I do crease these with a bone folder just to get a crisper um, fold once I've assembled the card together. But at this point, I just wanted enough to kind of make sure I had it in place perfectly. So I'm adding a little bit of adhesive tape just to the back of those tabs to hold those together. And this is creating that little interactive window element, as you can kind of see there. Next, I'm going to go ahead and attach that to my card front. So this is kind of like a card inside a card, um, just kind of a fun little hidden element. And I have a card base I've created out of a deeper green of cardstock and then some just um, kind of rustic cream colored cardstock to put over the top just to kind of provide a base for that to float on there. All right, so I'm only going to adhere that back one on, but before I do that, I'm going to wrap and tie some twine. Actually, nope, I'm going to adhere that first and then add the twine. So I'm using some good sturdy adhesive. Um, any adhesive would work, liquid or otherwise. And I was just planning, I guess what I'd forgotten is I was planning where I wanted to put that twine. So once I adhere that on, see how that window just kind of wants to stay sprung up a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that twine around, loop it three times, tie it in a bow along the bottom there. And then that's going to provide something I can just slide up a little over the bottom of those wheels just to hold it closed. And honestly, if you're, by the time it's in your envelope or anything else, it doesn't even matter because it's going to stay closed on its own. So I probably will leave that on once I put it in my envelope. Um, just pull the twine down because then it'll be obvious when someone opens it that you got to lift that window to see what's inside. All right, so the main part of the card's done. Now I'm going to add a little bit of depth and shading to the front of that just using one single Copic marker. This is YG95 that just coordinates well with the green card stock I use to stamp my image on. And I'm just kind of following the shading on the image, just going around adding a little bit um, of deeper color. And then that center part, I went ahead and just colored um, in once I'd added all my shading. I kind of had to think about it and decide what I wanted to do there if you saw me hesitating with the marker. And then once I've got all that color on, I'm going to leave that part pretty, pretty solid and steady on there, just like I've colored it. But I'm also coming in with a colorless blender just to go over and soften those lines on that shading I added. This is just going to kind of blend it in so it has a little more um, of a three-dimensional look, but without being too sharp and crazy on the lines there. All right, now that that's all done, the final touch, I'm going to use my scissors just to hold that flat and closed. And I'm going to add some glossy accents just to a little portion of the wheels and then kind of the bumper on the front and back and then over the windows. Uh, once that dries, it'll just kind of leave a clear, crystally, um, kind of a cool effect on there that gives a little more three dimension. This card's fairly quick and simple, so it's one of those little steps that is going to add just a little bit of interest to the card once it's done. Um, once I finish putting it on, I'm going to keep my scissors on there to hold it flat because if I tilt it up or let it tilt on its own, um, while that glossy accents is liquid, it'll kind of slide to one side and then I'll have an uneven coat. So I want to make sure and keep that flat. But I'm going to pick it up and kind of show you what it looks like on there. And then hold that in place and leave it to dry. And then once the video finished, I added a couple enamel dots just for a little finishing touch on there. Thanks so much for coming by today. Have a wonderful day.